So hello from Green Mopeds in London. So today we're going to give you a follow-on review of the Super Soco CPX um, and we thought that it might be useful to compare it, put it side by side with uh, its baby brother the CUX and its nearest competitor the NQI GTS Sport or Pro. Okay, so the first thing we uh, look at is obviously the actual size and dimensions of the bike. If you put it alongside, for example, the CUX, you can see it's uh, markedly bigger. Okay, so it's higher, it's wider. Um, if you actually look at the seat, you'll see, especially if you look across the seats, you'll see that the entire seat of a CUX is just the rider's seat on a CPX. Um, and if you again compared it to uh, an NQI GTS, the front rider seat is almost as long as the entire seat of the NQI GTS, but then it's still got the, the pad at the back for the passenger. So it's obviously clear that if you want a proper two seater or a two seater for, uh, that you can ride in comfort, then the CPX would be probably the preferred option, um, budget willing, of course. Uh, the next thing is about the actual height. So interestingly what Super Soccer have done is put a 16 inch wheel on the front uh, but a 14 inch wheel on the back. Okay so the NQI GT series they are 14 inch front and back so again uh, bigger wheels often are regarded as being more stable so um, obviously if you had bigger wheels front and back you'd get more range out of the same speed so um, that's, I guess, why they've chosen it. As to why they haven't put the same size wheels on front and back is probably because of the way the bike is designed at the back for that uh, rear passenger and the rear rack. But anyway, um, it's, as you can see, it's got ventilated discs. It's also got uh, CBS, so combined braking. There's two leads going in and out of the front caliper, which means that when you press the, pull the brake lever, you're going to get some of the power sent to the back and some to the front. This bike also has uh, uh, energy recovery, curves or whatever you want to call it, regen. So it's trying to recoup some of that energy when you do brake. Um, not unique, all these other bikes have them too, but it is included. Um, around the back of the bike, as you'll see one of the other interesting features around the CPX is that it doesn't have a swing arm on both sides. Uh, they're making a point about this in as much as it means that you can obviously change the wheel or the tyre very easily and quickly. Um, when you have a hub motor with a cable going into it, it does make it a little bit more complicated to change tyres and what have you. So um, that's one of the reasons they've done it. One of the other things to highlight is obviously this gap that you're now getting on the NQI GTs and this gap that you're getting on the CPX, which are, might enable you to get uh, some sort of security device through the gap. Okay, but I wouldn't um, particularly uh, use that as your only option. Okay. So this motor is four kilowatts and on the Bosch motor over there, it's three kilowatts. So that obviously means more power and then more speed. So the speed of the uh, NQI GTS is 47 and the quoted speed on this bike is 56. But you'll see uh, when we actually fire it up, uh, because it's on its stand, we can actually do a uh, speed test. It says a lot more than that, but that's obviously without any load, okay? So four kilowatts, 56 miles an hour, Okay, so under the seat, um, as you saw there, there's a, one of the batteries. That's a 60 volt, 45 amp hour battery. Okay, um, you get this sort of cover so that if you did have both batteries, you still might have some space for phone or maybe a disc lock. Um, but underneath here, you've got um, obviously quite a big uh, storage space if you didn't have the second battery. Um, still wouldn't take a helmet, unfortunately but you would get pretty much everything else you might need into that um, space. Uh, these are now, they've upgraded these cables. These are sort of TC Max cables, um, including the clip on the top of the battery, which is also something they've lifted off of the TC Max. So they're sort of really beefing up their, uh, their cables because of the charge. Okay, so that's that. 
Um, what they've also done is they've connected it up to a supercharger. Okay, so uh, this is the charger here. As you can see, it is 15 amp. And as we've said before, what that enables you to do is the more you have, uh, the more amps you have going into your battery, the uh, quicker the time. And so the charging time of this bike with one battery is three and a half, four hours, something like that. So it is, you know, pretty rapid. Um, obviously, if you add a second battery, then that changes. But with one battery, which will give you 40 miles of range, you will get three and a half hours to fully charge it. Okay. So it's uh, quite a, an interesting bike in as much as, you know, it's got all of the standard sort of Super Soco things on it now. So it's got an app like um, NIU uh, and all Super Soco bikes. Um, this dashboard is pretty familiar to you if you know what a TS or TSX dashboard looks like. Here you've obviously got your readout of your battery. Um, if you had a second battery that would appear here. Um, and then trip, total range, uh, total mileage, what have you. And what they've actually done is they've changed the way uh, that what this button used to do. So what this button used to do was enable the uh, actual throttle, okay? Now they put it on here, okay? So off and on, okay? So when that is up, throttle is dead. When that is down, throttle is active. Note the speed that it's saying it's getting to. Okay, that isn't the speed you're going to get because uh, that is obviously without any load on it. We did the same thing on an NGT, we would also see more than 47. Okay, but you've got your, your standard sort of modes that you're used to on, an, uh, um, on every other Super Soccer bike. And this button here is now actually a reverse. Okay, so it's, it's to enable you to back up the bike uh, because it, they say, well, on bigger bikes, it's, it's fairly standard. Uh, EC City do it, uh, the Vespa Electrica do it, and now this bike. Um, wouldn't be a deciding factor for me on buying this bike or not but it is something that uh, will enable you to move the bike around more easily okay then you've got sort of standard things so you've got a bag hook little cubby hole uh, usb port as you'd expect um, here you've got your brake uh, fluid chambers and what you can actually do you know if you wanted to service a bike yourself you see here it says you need dot three or dot four oil which you can get from places like halfords or what have you you take that off top it up and then you're good to go okay and then on this side you've got standard stuff indicators unfortunately silent still <laughs> and then obviously main beam what have you okay so uh it as i said it does have the app so you can track this bike and also check it okay so if someone does ride off with you off with it um, you can obviously uh, track where they've taken it to. Um, in terms of colours, this is actually the uh, silver and it's sort of denoted by this little flash on the mudguard. There's also black, which is there, so that's the black one. Um, and there's also grey, which comes with a uh, yellow stripe. Okay, um, this is on the grant as you'd expect and the price is 3599 thereabouts um, and it does compare pretty close to an NQI GT S Pro not the NQI GTS Sport the NQI GTS Sport is just under 3000 but the NQI GTS Pro with the Panasonic batteries is um, the same price as this uh, just one final thing on the batteries these batteries are the same make as on the TC Max so it's a Chinese brand not Panasonic. Okay, so um, I hope I've covered everything and obviously if you have any questions or want a test ride then uh, happy to accommodate you and uh, thanks very much.